side, Sarda walks away, up to the same, Richard Orr gets to eight, so does James, Shane got the lead, it's just, James gets the corner first, can Richard Orr sweep right round the outside, no, James has got the speed going up the back straight for the first time, Hall settles in the second, looks like Stephen Green has gone through in the third place, Whitaker is in four, AC is in five, and Rowley's in six, up to six, As they come off that top corner, the leaders are already at the final corner. Shane gets a spectacular win. Second place is going to be. Andrew Whittaker. 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 Gets the corner first, can Mears get the speed round the outside? No, can it's too quick on the inside line? It's clear going up that back straight for Mears holding second place. Look like Bates has gone through into third place. So yeah, he's heading well first and James Mears is back to be going for Mears. Mears has Third and fourth place, he did say he's going to make it. Pace is still just about hanging on to that third place. Coasting out of that final corner. Comprehensive win race. Therefore, Eddie Kennedy gets the winning ride. Up to the team, so away they go. Kennedy's going to wait. So is Shane. Who's going to get the corner first? Shane just gets the corner first. Kenny trying to come round the outside. They're locked together. Up the back straight the first time. Shane's on the inside. Kenny's on his shoulder now. Going into that top corner for the first time. Look at the action between first and second. Shane's just gone wide. Kenny comes in back from the Second place, Fisher up the back straight, they go once again. Then a mile clear of Andrew Whittaker hangs on the third. What can Kenny try this time on that top corner? Speed of change is just simply. 20 yards on the advantage over Kenny as they go into the pitch corner. And all gets a corner first, Mears on the inside, Stephen Green on the upright, now moves through in the second place by getting around the edge of Dave Mears and Thomas Rowlitz having to go in fourth place, but all's already got a lead as he goes in the top pitch corner on lap number one then. Green holds up second. in five, Torian Domain is in fifth place, up to five as they go up the back straight once again, Richard all increases leads, he goes into that top corner on lap number two and Greens, Dave Mears trying to close the gap on two. Second Dave Mears will have one last go on that top corner. Goes wide close to Dave Mears picks up third. Thomas Rowling. Thomas Rowling. Can it make a good start? Thomas Rowling goes with him. Fourth place as they go to the back straight for the first time. Eddie Kenny already good in the league. Good race going on for second and third as Thomas Rowley just been hanging on to that second place position. And they make their way out of that top corner. Thomas Rowley to fourth and your Borton is in fourth place as the leader up the back straight. Spectacular way there from Kenny halfway up that back straight. It's still Phil behold that second place position in Rolling Music. Third, they complete lap number two then. Kennedy's a clearly. Third. Oh. 
half will really going up that back straight half up to the four so that's not the corner for the final time spectacular when he arrives the big finish drop. Donovan's away, away they go. James makes the start. Richard Hall's coming away with him. Is going to get the corner? James gets the corner first. Can Richard Hall sweep round the outside of the pitch corner? No, he can't. He's changing it. Back straight the first time. And Hall's got the second. Green in third. Mears in four. Whitaker is in five. That's the top five. They move into the top corner. Lots of the water. Whitaker gets the they're bunching up the third, fourth and fifth, they're winning, chasing off the green, third place, as the leading team getting away the front end, chains are clearly different, all in second, he's still green, he's on the third. Back round the outside, Whittaker comes again to retake that third place. Will Green get back round the outside of the top when he gets back there? Whittaker's third place, he's changed Lincoln. Dave Mears dropping back in fifth place, he's James James Lincoln. All holding second. Whittaker one last go on the end. James continues with his winning way. Richard Hall just about getting James Shane. Can he get the corner first? Yes, Richard Hall has got the corner first. This can make it in first. Now it's all eaten. Can change in second. Green has got the third. Roll it in forward. You make it fine. Now will James Shane to the chase or will, will he be content for second place to fall the cup? Richard all again sweeps it right round the outside of the pitch corner, but what a move there by, by James Shanes. He saw Richard Hall go wide and just turned the bike inside him and he's already building a 20-yard lead. James Shanes moves. Five, you want Shanes going into that top corner for the final time. Four to four to five. Andrew Whitaker in the action mark. Can he get swung on the inside lead at the back straight? Mears in second. Whitaker is in third. He's already pulling away from the back. And Whitaker trying to find a way through on the inside. Dave Mears is moving the top corner on the opening lap. Can he put a big lead already? Around the outside of that pitch corner, no, he can't look to Andrew Whitaker. He's going to make it stick for second place, and it's can it leads them. But Whitaker in second, Mears has got the third place, and the length of the straight curve is four, six, and six. Whitaker moves into the top corner on the inside of the pitch corner. Whitaker in second, he's just scrapping it out for fourth and fifth places. As Kenny's at the top corner on a lap of the looking four. Coasting into that final corner, he's got a big, big lead up the front of the last qualifying heat, 40 points on the solo. Penultimate race of the day, 500 solo, a final straight final. Getting strong wheels up in front of his face, and Shane has got the corner first. Richard Hall making his swoop round the outside, trying to get round the edge of Shane, but Shane leads up the back straight the first time. Richard Hall has got the second, Eddie Kennedy is in third half, having the front wheel in front of his face as he left the store. He's got it down quickly, he's going to make Shane. The field. As they go to the back straight once again, change is getting away. There's a race on for second and third. Because Eddie Kenny's got Richard Hall in sight now as he moves into that top corner once again. Richard Hall won right there.
job on the upright this afternoon against some very very fast 500 James Shane's totally unbeaten all the afternoon and uh, Eddie Kennett come around his lap of honour so the class 